The Asian giant hornet, recently dubbed the murder hornet in the US, known for beheading and slaughtering honeybees, has landed in Washington state. It's still unknown exactly how many hornets there are or how they even travel to this country. However, insect experts think they have a pretty good idea, though definitively proving it might be impossible. Though there are a number of potential explanations, the most likely one is that a queen hornet hitched a ride on a container ship heading across the Pacific Ocean. Three of the five busiest ports in the US lie on the West Coast, including Washington's Northwest Seaport Alliance. The container ships that pull into these ports can teem with insects. Sometimes ships in the US must even be fumigated due to infestations. Most insects that entomologists track come from human trade. We give bugs the ability to fly or hop to places they wouldn't be able to go on their own, thousands of miles across the ocean. To colonize the US, just a single queen Asian giant hornet fully inseminated would have needed to find a little cubby on a ship. In fact, the hornets may have previously traveled to the US, but just didn't successfully establish a colony. So we didn't even know they'd made it. Washington ecologists, however, weren't really looking for the Asian giant hornet, an insect that grows to about two inches long and has venom more toxic than honeybees. They were more focused on monitoring Asian honeybees that carry a mite that's proven deadly to Western honeybees, whose populations are already dropping due to parasites and pesticides. Now there's a potential for a problematic infestation of Asian giant hornets in Northwest Washington state, which is a huge home for honeybees. Besides producing honey, honeybees pollinate over 100 crops in the US. No matter how these invasive insects arrived in the US, Insect experts say they should be eradicated because invasive insects are trouble. They can kill native trees by the millions, threaten agriculture, damage plants, and spread disease. The potential impact of these bee killers on the US honeybee industry is still unknown, but in some places, this could be a serious punch to an already struggling industry.